of my favorite bikes at the show wasn't even at the show. I had to come out to the parking lot to check it out. I met Brian here from TP, TPJ Customs, and this is a, a very unusual Harley-powered, super moto-styled street roadster fighter jump curber, and uh, it's li like nothing else I've ever seen. It's a really special bike. And this is Brian from TPJ, and uh, Brian, what can you tell us about your special bike here? Uh, the whole thing started with the chassis. Um, the chassis was the hardest thing to get get perfect, um, and then from there, some of the uh, the cooler parts that uh, that I that I like are uh, I tried to get the oil into the rear fender, um, a little bit for cooling purposes, and also to clean up uh, some of the engine area. Um, it's got about two and a half quarts in it, so it's perfect for whatever you need to do. All the lines run right down there, underneath the engine, so they kind of disappear. Um, but I still like I still like you to be able to see the lines, you know, because it shows that it's still it's something that runs, it's something that works. Um, the swing arm is a big was one of my favorite things. It's also a box swing arm. Everything was handmade at the shop, uh, with the exception of the bearings, and uh, that hides the uh, Shirai battery underneath and keeps everything super clean and all the wiring hidden. Uh, a couple other things I like all of all the wiring is underneath the tank. It's all real reachable if you have a problem, but it's real hidden unless you're really looking for it. Um, all the switches and everything are right through here just for power and starting. So it kind of keeps them hidden, but, but they're easily accessible. All the body pieces, all the little, everything was made in the shop, all of the foot controls and their dirt bike style. So when you lay this thing down in a corner, you can, those will rise up a little bit. Uh, some of the other cool features are the rear tail lights. I have two LEDs in the back. Uh, this rear brake, brake spacer acts as the brake lights, the rear caliper adjuster, and the uh, rear wheel spacer. So kind of keeping a whole bunch of things in one thing to keep it a little bit cleaner. Um, we do a lot of the little things, uh, the, like the uh, air cleaner over here. The air cleaner is something that we do at the shop. Uh, it fits many different models. Um, I just like to run them on this because they're super clean. Um, they're easy K&N filters, and then some of the some of the really cool features that I was uh, that some of the sponsors hooked up with were the Avon tires. These are their new uh, their new tire they're using for all their street bikes. They handle great in the dirt and the street. And then the uh, the Behringer brakes also. Uh, those are two of our sponsors that they helped out with these wonderful products that just make this bike somewhat handle so much better. You're looking for gas every 60 miles, but that 60 miles is some of the funnest 60 miles. You have no problem stopping for gas. All right, Brian, thanks. A really special machine. I really dig it. No, I, I appreciate it. Thank you.